Well, hello there. Welcome back to Mr. Steve's Kitchen. My name is Steve Smith and I am a middle school teacher. I love to cook in my spare time. And so um, I've been making a lot of videos showing um, different recipes that I have. Today I've decided to uh, do a vegetarian recipe. My sister who's a vegetarian asked me if I would make a uh, vegetarian burger. And so I'm doing a black bean veggie burger and I have all the ingredients that we need here. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, you're gonna need half an onion. This is a four ounce can of green chilies that I've put into a dish. And then we've got some garlic, one tablespoon of chili powder, one tablespoon of cumin, half a cup of breadcrumbs, some salt, one can of black beans, an egg, and you're gonna need a food processor. It's just a little bit, so I'm using my mini processor today. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we want to do is drain our beans. So I'm going to take this can of black beans, put them through a strainer, and we'll just let those drain while we get all the other ingredients prepared. So I'll set this aside. And then in your food processor, you want to put your onion. So I got half an onion here. And this is a small onion. I'm going to give it a little cut so it'll all fit in there. And then you want um, two or three cloves of garlic. Cut off the end of the garlic so you don't see that little um, brown tip. Nobody wants to bite on that. And then cut it in half, throw it in the food processor as well. And I'm gonna add one more. Also, um, just a little trick to show how to um, take a garlic clove from covered in the skin to naked and um, usable. If you take a jar, just any old jar, throw that in there, put the lid on, and then give it a couple shakes. When you pour it out, the skins are left behind and you have your, your naked garlic ready to go. So that's a quick little trip for you. Okay, now um, we're going to add the green peppers in. These are green chili peppers. I chose to do hot because I like spicy. You can use whatever um, level of heat you want. You can also sub out for like a, um, you know, like a green bell pepper, something like that. Um, but you want some sort of peppery flavor in there. I'm just gonna blend this up a little bit. So this is the consistency that you want it. So you want it to look like, almost like a salsa. So that's what we're gonna use. Now, get rid of this knife. We've got our beans drained. I'm gonna pour out this juice. Okay, and then we'll just add the beans back to that. And you just take a fork and just mash up your beans. Now, if you don't like black beans, I know some people are adverse to black, black beans. Um, if you don't like black beans, use pinto beans, use garbanzo beans, whatever you want. Um, I just prefer, I like the taste of black beans. Um, and they have a, they're a little fir more firm than some other types of beans. And you just want to mash them until you get, uh, most of them are um, mashed up. You can leave a few of them kind of whole, but you're looking for a paste. So once you get them all mashed up and you have a paste like this, now you want to add this mixture. So you've got your onions, your garlic, and your green chilies. Get all that goodie out of there. No flavor left behind, remember? No flavor left behind. All right. Give that a little stir. There is a garlic clove that did not get blended at all, so we're gonna pull that out. All right, now we need an egg. 
gonna crack one egg into a separate dish. That way if we get any shells, we can dig them out. And then to your egg, you wanna add a tablespoon of ground chili powder, a tablespoon of ground cumin, and then just kinda whisk that up. All right, once you get this all mixed up, you want to add it to your bean mixture. So you'll use a little spatula to get all that flavor. No flavor left behind. Get all of that out of there. And then we'll give this a stir. That egg is what's really gonna hold it together. And then we're gonna throw in some breadcrumbs and that will just make it all come together. I'm gonna give that a stir until it's all incorporated. And we're looking for kind of a dry paste. If it's too runny, um, add more breadcrumbs. If it's, uh, if it's too dry, go ahead and add, uh, add some hot sauce, maybe a little bit of water, not too much water, but Something liquidy, a little hot sauce will do. And then once it comes together, now we're ready to make our patties. Before we make our patties, we want to add just a pinch of salt because we want to bring all those flavors together. Just do a pinch of salt. There we go. And give that one more good stir. And now we're gonna make our patties. So we have our oven preheated to 375 degrees. I've got a, a sheet pan that has already been greased. And this can make four patties um, that are like normal size burger patties. I'm gonna do a couple of slider patties. Um, and so you're just gonna take it, make it into a little ball, press it down. And these will be our slider patties. So I'm gonna do a couple of those. And then the rest of them I'll make into larger patties. All right, we have all of our patties ready to go. So this is gonna go into the oven again at 375. We're gonna bake it for 10 minutes on each side. So put that in there, we'll let that go for 10 minutes and then we'll flip it. So I'll see you in 20 minutes after the flip. All right, welcome back, it has been 20 minutes, and it's time to pull our burgers out of the oven. Oh, they smell so good. All right, so there are our burgers. And now, I'll let them rest for just a few minutes um, while I get the plate together to serve it. All right, so with these burgers, um, you can Put together whatever your favorite toppings are. I've got um, some lettuce, tomatoes, cheese, and some spicy mustard here. And I'm just gonna build this little slider. And that is our slider. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. If you were a fan of black bean burgers, you'll never buy another one from the store. These are really good. Thanks for watching. Remember to follow me on Instagram at Steve Loves to Cook and uh, like this video, share it with everybody. Show me how much you care. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.